Hey guys, Ollie Quinn, Ollie Quinn Training. Today I'm going to show you how to do a kettlebell windmill. Uh, it's a movement I still use every week for core strength, T spine mobility, shoulder stability, uh, hamstring mobility and strength. Uh, it's a great one, you really should learn it. But if you're going to do it, um, do it properly. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it looks without load, okay? So it's a hinge and rotation. Your hips go backwards, okay? Both arms are externally rotated. Okay, so the easiest way I find to learn this is using the windmill stick, alright? So, for the windmill and the windmill stick, feet about hip width apart, then you're going to point your feet about 30 degrees away from the loaded side. Stick goes behind your neck. Then you want to initiate a hip hinge by driving your hips back and then try and look at the stick and rotate your T-spine. And you just hold it down there. Again, initiate hip hinge by driving your hips back, back leg straight, front leg soft. So you've pretty much done the windmill there, okay? So now we just get rid of the stick. Pretend we have a kettlebell now, we can get the kettlebell overhead any safe way you need to. Point your feet off 30 degrees. Start looking at the kettlebell. Externally rotate both shoulders. Push your hips back. Drive your hips back. Load your hamstring. Keep yourself full of air. And come back up. And recover. That's your window, guys.